Hello everybody, in this video we're doing something a little bit different. We are talking about how to find a godly woman. How, do, how can men, Catholic men, attract a good Catholic woman? And what do Catholic women find attractive in Catholic men? What are the things that they are attracted to and how can you as a Catholic man attract a godly woman. And in fact, we've asked, we took a poll with Catholic women, young adults, and this is for high school teens, college students, and even young adults above that. We've actually interviewed young adult women and we've asked them what they find attractive in men, what attracts them to men, and, and what are they looking for in a Catholic man. And of course, I, I would think it's accurate to say that this spans all ages of Catholic women. I bet all Catholic women would agree with this list that I'm about to share with you about what women find attractive in men. And I'm sure women could add many more things down in the comment section below of things that they're attracted to. Hopefully they're godly women offering godly things. We know the people we interviewed were godly women, good Catholic women. So we are going to give you the list of what Catholic women find attractive in men and how you can attract a good Catholic woman. My name is Brian Mercier. I'm the president of Catholic Truth. Many people know me as Catholic Brian. And if you haven't been here before, please subscribe to our channel so you can get lots of great videos when they come out. And also check out our podcast at The Catholic Truth Podcast. You can check it out on iTunes, Spotify, Google, and many other platforms. But Catholic Truth Podcast, I mean, there's so many days where we can't make videos. And so on those days we don't make videos, we oftentimes make podcasts. You can also check out the articles we write on our website at thecatholictruth.org. So how do you attract a Catholic woman and what are they looking for? So when we polled women, this is what they said. The first one is to be strong. Not just on the outside, you know, strong strength, but actually someone who's of strength inside. Someone who knows what they believe and fights for it and stands for it. They're not lazy. They don't just, I don't know, I don't know. They're just lazy. Someone who's actually believes something and they really shoot for it. They strive for it. They're strong in their beliefs and in their virtue and in their courage. And also honesty going along with that. They said honesty is very attractive, obviously. Being honest and genuine with yourself and others is a very attractive quality, obviously. I mean, who would want to go out with somebody or be attracted to someone who lies or who deceives people? But this is kind of the reality that that happens all the time. So being truthful is attractive. Another one is loving your family. They said showing love to your sisters and your mother is attractive. Spending time with them, spending time with family, they say, is something that really attracts us to you because, you know, the way that men treat their mother and sisters many times is the way they're going to treat their future wife. And so they love to see a, a, a family man, someone who loves their family, because if they don't love their family, why would they want to start a family with her? You know, that's kind of the way they look at it. The next one is coming back to being strong, but they said having the guts to talk to a girl or a woman and not just over social media or texting. I mean, so don't just text and don't just say, hey, we're having a relationship through texting. No, have the courage to go up and talk to them. Start a conversation with them. Do you guys know that women, one of the top things, here's a secret for you men, one of the top things women find attractive in men is confidence. And I had the least amount of confidence in high school in my first couple of years of college and I didn't attract any women. But once I found out how to attract women and I found out how to have confidence, I kind of went to the other extreme and I used to try to have women attracted to me, even though I wasn't interested just to see if I could and just to see if these techniques worked and just to see if confidence was all it was made out to be. And even women who would never give me a second glance because I was so confident, they were actually were very interested in me. And confidence is super attractive to women. But so many men are not confident today. So if you're not confident, it's not a deal breaker. It's just you need to pick up a book and read something on confidence or watch some YouTube videos on it and really grow your confidence. Women find men who work on themselves and know what they need to work on and strive for it that's an attractive quality as well. So confidence is a good thing. Talk to women. Don't just text them. Don't just talk over social media. Talk to them. Another big one is, in the manner of talking to them, defining the relationship. DTR, define the relationship. Communicate with them. Women hate men who are just like, 
going along, hanging out with them, uh, asking them to do things, asking them to come over and play video games. And the women can't tell, does he like me or does he not? Does he just want to hang out with me as a friend or is he interested in me? Or is he using me? I mean, the women are left to rot while we just, we have it in our own minds what we're doing. Maybe we like them or interested in them, but they have no idea. So we need just to let them know, hey, I enjoy spending time with you. I like spending time with you, you know, as a friend. Or, you know what? I'm not ready to date yet, but I really want to get to know you more. Would you like to hang out? You know, or something like that. Just be honest where you're at with her and let her know. It's very important to let a woman know where you're at and what they are doing, where the, where they are in the picture. Even with my wife, she wanted to go slow in the relationship when we were dating. I don't know what slow means, so I decided to take it even slower, but I always communicated and said, hey, if I'm doing something out of line, let me know. This is how I feel and what I would like, but if you disagree, agree, or if you're looking for something else, please let me know and I would just communicate. So define the relationship so there's no confusion. And if you want to date her or if you want to go out on dates with her, tell her, I want to go out on a date with you. I would like to take you out on a date. And if you are dating her, make it official. Don't just hang around and hang out with other girls too. So they don't really like that. And as far as dating is concerned, a lot of women think it's really attractive that a man pays for the first date or even the first few dates before things get really established. They really like a man who takes charge and says, hey, you're important. I want to pay for you. I want to hold the door for you. They love the respect and the dignity and the chivalry of you holding a door, even pulling out a chair, even paying for the meals. These little acts of respect and dignity and showing that you care for them are really attractive to most women. Now, there are some women out there, even some Catholic women, who hate chivalry and refuse to let you open a door and that's a problem you know and then you might want to just be careful of that and you wonder what's going on deeper down inside but most women love these things so if you hold a door if you buy her flowers you buy her little gifts they all said unanimously all these women said that is super attractive on the concept of being strong and communicating plan a date plan your dates out many people girls hate when guys say hey you want to come out with me and they say yeah and they say okay Guy says, what do you want to do? And girl's like, you don't have a plan? She's like, what are, what are we doing? He's like, I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't, I don't know. You want to just hang out? You want to just eat chips on my couch? You know, like they literally have zero point of a plan. No plan. And so Jason Everett, actually, he's a popular speaker. And he tells the story of a guy who was going to ask a girl out. And he asked the kid directly, what are you doing with her? And the kid's like, I don't know. He's like, no, 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 no. Back up. You're a man. Men have to have a plan. We are men. That's why we make plans. And he's like, women love a man with a plan. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to pick her up at her house. You're going to have flowers that you're going to give to her after you knock on her door. You don't beep from the car. You go up to the door and you knock on it. And when she opens the door, you hand her flowers and you watch her melt. And then you walk her out to the car and you open the car door for her. When you get to the restaurant, you pull out her seat. I mean, women like fall for this sort of stuff. And the kid did it textbook. He did everything you're supposed to. And he saw Jason Everett and he said, hey, how'd it go? And the kid was like, it was great. She loved it. We had the, the, the best date. As opposed to, I don't know what we're going to do. Let's just hang out. I'm lazy. I have no plan. No, have a plan. Really seek to wow her. Give her a wonderful date. Even if you want to go even over your family's house and you have a board game night, let her know that. If you want to go out, you know, and bowling or going out to eat after or get ice cream after, just have a plan. Let her know what it is. If she hates the restaurant you pick, you know, say, hey, if you hate this restaurant, that's fine. Let me know. We could. I could choose another one. You know, and just... Women like that. So try to have a plan. When you're out on dates, they say, don't check your cell phone. That's super unattractive. Don't be uninterested. Be very interested. Don't be looking around and, you know, trying to, I don't know, I'm just bored and don't really have anything to say and I'm checking out other girls. Oh, sorry. You're right there in the video. See, now I have eye contact with you. I'm talking to you. I'm interested in you. I'm speaking directly to you. So women, they say something that's really attractive for men is having eye contact, really because it shows that they're important, and having stuff to say, having a really interesting conversation. And that might mean thinking about questions to ask before you go on the date, writing them down, putting them in your pocket, writing them on your hand, doing something, but having a list of questions that you're going to ask her to generate conversation. And they said listening not just talking about yourself the whole time. And every time she says something, you bring it back to how awesome you are, what you do, what wonderful things you've done. No, talk to her and have a good give and take relationship where you listen, 
and where you talk. You're not too quiet and you're not all about yourself. You know, it's a good give and take. It's a relationship and that's what it should be. If you're a godly man, one of the most attractive things for a woman, for a Catholic woman, is purity. That you love purity and that you're striving for purity and that you want her to be pure and that you're not going to force her into any sexual activity that she's not comfortable with or that goes against God. You're not going to try to get sex for her or anything like that. You're just going to try to be pure. This may even mean, including, this is what they said in the poll, that to set physical boundaries. Let them know at the beginning, hey, you know, I don't want to go past kissing because it's against God. Hey, I don't have sex because I'm waiting till marriage, and I want you to know that in advance. You know, these kind of physical boundaries really take pressure off a woman because usually she's the one to say, no, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. And they're often pressured into it. But when a guy does that, they're like, wow. Now, sometimes when you get a dud of a Catholic man or a dud of a Catholic woman, that woman will turn you off if you don't do enough stuff for them, which means they're not really godly women. They're not really good Catholic women. And you don't want that kind of a Catholic woman, guys. You don't want a girl who's going to give you everything or make you lose your soul and go to hell because of the things that you do that are against God. Obviously, something that's very attractive is being faithful to your woman, really being committed to her and not trying to make other girls jealous, you know, not going off and talking to these other girls just to make her jealous and not getting jealous if she talks to other guys. I mean, girls do know other guys and to be able to talk to another guy doesn't mean that they're interested in them, doesn't mean that they're a thing, as they said, and it doesn't mean that something's going to happen. It just means they're talking to them as friends. And quite frankly, in my own opinion, too, if you're a guy, and you can't let your woman talk to another guy, then that's a problem. It means you don't trust her. And if you don't trust her, you don't love her. It means you have control issues. And any woman out there, if you're with a guy who will not let you talk to another guy, won't even see another guy, it's only him, him or the highway, choose the highway. That is a control freak that you have no really reason to be with. You don't want to be with a man like that who controls you. It's like Muslim women who are controlled by their husbands and can't do anything except what their husbands tell you. It's slavery and you don't want that in a relationship. And it's indicative of something that's much deeper and uh, much more dark inside of a person. And so get out. If someone will not let you talk to someone of the other sex, they control who you talk to, they're monitoring you and all that sort of thing, get out of the relationship and find someone who's capable of truly loving you. Women really find it attractive when a man compliments them. Not just their looks all the time, but their personality, who they are. Maybe it's their, maybe it's their smile. Maybe it's their sense of humor. Maybe it's their, uh, the way that they look at something or, you know, something virtuous. Oh, you were so loving with that person. You know, you, I don't have that trait. You're really good at that. You know, that's what I like about you. Or wow, you were really patient with that kid. I don't have the patience for that kid. You were really patient and you have a really big heart. And that's what really attracts me to you. And just giving these women these compliments really melts their hearts. Of course, we want to be sincere and we don't want to be slime bags where we just compliment a woman in order to break down our walls so we can get from them what we want. That would be an evil, devilish man, not a Catholic man, but sincere compliments about their looks and about other things about them are very good. And similarly to this, the women said in this poll that they like to be surprised with little gifts, not big gifts, you know, just little gifts. And it doesn't even have to be something you buy, just small notes, you know, a love letter, something creative that shows that you're putting time and effort into the relationship and into her. I used to do something stupid back in the day that girls used to love. And I used to reach into my pocket and I used to pull out something. I said, I have something for you. And they said, well, what is it? I said, well, find out, open the gift. And when they would open the, my hands, I would reach out and like grab them and hug them. And they were like, oh, I didn't expect that. That's really cool. That's like such a good gift. And eventually I would see the same girls over and over at college. And I would say, hey, I have a gift for you. And they'd run at me. They'd open my hands and just hug me. You know, it's like, this silly thing that really make a woman's day, that really show that you love them, you know, that you really um, are, are trying to show them that you're into them. So it's easy in a relationship to get bored or to really just not know what to do and not know where to go, but you have to figure out ways to be creative. How 
What would she like? Ask that question. What would she like? Now, what would I like? What would she like? What would please her? What would make her happy? Maybe I'm going to go buy her a rose and give it to her. Maybe I'm going to take her out to dinner and give her flowers. Whatever it is, try to keep the relationship going like that. Maybe it's having a long conversation. Maybe she would like to have a long conversation. Maybe she would like to hear about my feelings. Um, you know, whatever it is, really try to think about her and put her first in the relationship. That's wildly attractive. Lastly, they said that the most attractive thing in the whole world is a man who's dedicated to God. A man who loves God and lives out his faith and isn't trying to be cool in front of his friends or is really nice to her when he's not around his friends. But then when he is in front of his friends, he's he's too cool for school and he doesn't want to do anything with her. Or he can't, you know, hug her, hold her hand or talk about God or anything. No, women are attracted to guys who are strong, confident and who love God and are willing to fight for what's right, including fighting for her and what's good for her. So these are some of the things that women like. They're really attracted to. We, we pulled a bunch of young adult women and we took this list and these are the things that they're attracted to. So maybe re-listen to the list, copy some of it down. Um, feel free to add. I, I'm sure there's way more things you could add. Uh, and so listen to this again, check it out, leave a comment down below, let us know what you think. Maybe we'll take a list from men someday and see what they think, what they're looking for in a good Catholic woman. So if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button, smash it, kill it, destroy it, hit it, and make sure to subscribe to this video so you can get many more videos when they come out. Also, if you can, please support our ministry, $10 a month, $50 a month, $100 a month, so we can reach out to other people. We're trying to reach millions of souls for Christ. On a daily basis here at Catholic Truth, we're trying to do apologetics, spirituality, holiness, counteract our culture, and help people to find true love and not the counterfeit. So if you could help us in our nonprofit, we would be eternally grateful. Please support us, and we will continue praying for you every single day. God bless you. Hi everyone, my name is Kate. I'm the video editor here at Catholic Truth, and I just wanted to say on behalf of all of us, thank you so much for taking some time to watch our videos and learn more about your faith. You guys really make this channel possible, and we truly appreciate you being here. So thanks again, and God bless.